previously on Balls. Um, uh, the subject today is how's it going, Sean? Oh, good, 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 good. good. Nice to have you here. Subject today uh, is something that we sort of s- started during the early part of the week. Got Tank working hard with uh, a couple of people down in Cape Town to get their Curry Cup uh, 15s. Thanks, Tank. Uh, I've got the uh, the memory stick. I've got all those here. And, oh, good. Yeah, and uh, it, it started going around on Twitter as well. People started picking their greatest Curry Cup 15s of all time. And the key thing that uh, you notice, people fall into the trap by starting to identify things like Peter Hendricks try against David Campisi. It has to be <laughs> Curry Cup players, so uh, in Curry Cup games. So, uh, yeah, where do we start? Should we either do it by position or should we yeah, just... Yeah, I reckon by position. Yeah, let's, position, I think, yeah, yeah. All right, let's start at full back, first of all. Sean, you go first. Personally, I went with Andre Hubert. Yeah. That was my choice. I like, um, and um, the thing about Babans on my side as well, I got, um, I think I got you know who at number 10, and I always like a left footer at full back as well. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's, should we should we just uh, deal with nine and ten? Has anyone not got Nars and Yurst? Okay, that's, <laughs> really that means <laughs> I, I, I had a I actually had old Free Dupree for a while, but then uh, I reverted back to Yurst. Okay, so you got Nars and Yurst, Billy Tank. Who have you got? I went with the same as with the Paul Dobson, and that being Devon Serpentin. Oh. Um, if I could just quantify a little bit about my side, uh, a little bit low, uh, agreeing with Paul in that, um, you know, that the guys in the old days, the, the old days, so to speak, um, generally played more Curry Cup rugby. You know, so, you know, you know uh, and there was a lot of talk on, on Twitter this week about it and how do you compare eras. And for me, it was, um, there were a couple of things. Well, one is the most important one is, is how much above your peers at the time was the player. Um, so, so that was probably the key thing. And then, and then the other thing being that the, the, the older generation of players probably played a lot more carry cup and thus probably were, were more, more influential. And, and, and uh, it's quite subjective because Devon and Morton Eddie Pussy were massive heroes of mine. So I'm afraid that swayed me as well. Yeah, look, and that's your own personal choice. So, Billy? Mm. No, I was going to say, and of course, he, he, most importantly for Tank, he wore a blue and white jersey. <laughs> yeah, but he was a great player. I mean, didn't he appear in five? He was part of that five in a row. Um, yeah, he yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. No, he was magnificent. He was great. But everyone's got Nas, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah yep. Nas is a no brainer. Okay, well, put him in the uh, balls team first, which is probably what the selectors used to do in those days. Nas put his name I in. Check the team Nas's around. record. I mean, 123 caps, 11 finals, and 1,699 points. Yeah. I mean, that's incredible. That's amazing. Yeah, and lost only two finals. He won seven, drew two, drew two and, and never lost a final or any game against the Lions or Transvaal except the Lion Cup final. Oh. How's that, how was that? How frustrating was that, son of a you-know-what, playing if you're a Transvaal supporter? And, and you guys make a CD mocking him. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're not mocking him. <laughs> he becomes head of sorrow. Oop, don't get too much away. <laughs> Sorry. So what is it, Simon? Is it, is it an ode to Nas rather than a mock? No. It's, no, it's just a, it's a thriller. Um, <laughs> a thriller. It's a thriller. It's yeah, a thriller no, for sure, it's a thriller. Um, it's a great CD. Yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but we're definitely not mocking him. No. Okay. Do you just save the mocking for Derek Albert? <laughs> yeah, we do that. <laughs> well, there we go. There's a little sneak preview of one of the new characters in there. All right, let's go back to full back again. Sean, you were saying you've got uh, Joubert, eh? Huh? I'd agree with that. Yeah, yeah. I, I just thought I was always mesmerized when I saw Joubert play. Um, H.O. de Villiers was way before my time. That's a guy I heard about a hell of a lot. Yeah. yeah. But in terms of like an era from like 92 onwards, I went for it. I also, with my team as well, I was very wary of picking like Springboks from the last 10 years or so that haven't played that much in the Curry Cup, uh. even if they, they had like massive impact in the knockout stages. I'm just very wary of that kind of... If you, I looked at players that defined the eras more. Yeah. I'm very wary of like these things that creep in where like sometimes the Springboks only come back either the week of the semifinals or the yeah. week before the week of the semifinals, and they kind of do that American World War II thing and say like, well, thanks for putting your body on the line, guys. We'll take it from here yeah. and just finish the job. I didn't see them as being... Real carry cap definitions one. All right, who else didn't go for Andre Joubert other than me? Oh, so who did you have? I have two. <laughs> who? Well, I couldn't decide between um, Andre and Percy Montgomery. Like I said, for me, it's post 1997. Okay. <laughs> so, All right, so, so who who didn't who else didn't go for Andre Joubert? Tank, you got Juba. 
Yeah, I went to bed. All right. And Billy as well. Yeah, yeah, I've got Chuba. I was actually amazed. He scored over a thousand points. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't ever really remember being that prolific with a boot, but I mean, he must have kicked a fair few goals with with that sort of stat. Yeah, and uh, Simon. Yeah, I go Chuba. Chuba. I had Casey Pino in my team. Who? Yeah, not a bad call, Dan. Yeah. So I never saw him play. In my top four. Yeah, but I mean, Curry you know, Cup wise, he was very pretty. I mean, he was a, a great, yeah. great player. Jeez, he came into the Curry Cup and just. I mean, it's almost like no one, people can touch the guy when he uh, when he had the ball as a as a running full back and uh, and also kicking full back. I thought Casey Pino was um, the one that made the biggest impression on me, more so than maybe Andre. But Andre was more steady, you know. So yeah, I just I just thought Casey Pino from a Curry Cup point of view. John, I went for Gavin Johnson, Darren. You would. Okay. <laughs> are you hoping Are you hoping to get a free trip up to his game lodge up in the Zambezi? There is that why? Okay. Um, you know, he deserves a mention as old Johan Hjernes, I think. Huh? Yeah, also. I think if Nas had to pick his team, and I think he did pick a team, I think he probably would have Johan Hjernes there. Yeah, I mean, he... Um, sorry, I'm reeling off the stats here, but I've got this this book in front of me. He got 268 points in a season in 89. Um, Was that the famous drawn Curry Cup final? Twice Province it, Northern Transvaal. No, that, that, he didn't get all 268 in, in the final. No, man, I know, but I'm just saying, is that the same year? Chop. I, I think so, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so we agree on Andre Joubert, then an overwhelming majority say Andre Joubert at fullback. Now the wings. And this is, this is where, this is where uh, I differ with Sean only once, because my team also only had one current player, and that's uh, Brian Habana as one of my wings. So, um, yeah, I went with Brian Habana and Carl Duplessis, the prince. Uh, so let's, I think, uh, put it out there. Has anyone not got Coral Duplessis as one of their two? Okay, Knox, who have you got? Okay, I have... Uh, okay, I went with, uh, at first, James Wall and J.P. Uh, Peterson. But then going back to what Sean said, that all these guys, these Springboks, I mean, you have these guys who play Curry Cup and then these Springboks come back a bit later. Then I went with John Mamensa with that. So okay. I have John Mamensa at 14 and then I have uh, Brian have been at 11. All right. Uh, Tank, let's go with you. Yeah, I've got the same as you, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, so far, we've got all three of the same. Uh, okay. No, you got Casey Pino. But I went, you know, Prince of Wings for me was, was pretty easy. And then uh, also, you know, Habana, Habana and Matchville are the two uh, youngsters in, 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 in my side. But I mean, I promise you there were some big, uh, some big pressure from the likes of Cabos from the Vest Station. Tony Watson was awesome for Natal. Uh, Neil Berger, James Small, Ray Mort. But yeah, uh, in the end, uh, I went with, uh, with, uh, with the Prince and with Brian Abena. Well, in terms of Curry Cup, Cabos is not a bad call because he had an unbelievable yeah. Curry Cup run on, on the wing there. The other one who was also good was Owen picked. Um, in Owen and Command, he picked a 15 as well uh, for this video we're doing. And uh, he picked John Daniels. And uh, that is another good call because he, he just ran in tries just about every game. I think he's got yeah, a record, top, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he does. Right, it does yeah. Yeah. yeah, so he had John Daniels there. Sean? I think um, I I went with the same. I went with Habana as well. I thought Habana, um, just with this kind of electrifying thing that he's done, um, especially for the Bulls, and he has a thought to find. But I think it's um, James Small has to be mentioned in that company as well, considering that the service he gave to three different provinces as well in the tournament as well. Uh-huh. I think. Um, and how many did he win it for? I forgot to check. I think he won it for. He won it for the Sharks. I don't know if he won it with Transvaal. I'm not sure if he won it with Transvaal. Yeah, he Sharks and Province. I think he won. And Province he did with one yeah, season. Yeah, I think it's one and two, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Did so it, yeah. James? I remember he, he lost in the final to Natal with Transvaal. Then he moved to Natal, and, and I think he lost in the final to Transvaal yes, with you're right. Natal. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. In 92 and 93, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. 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 yeah, but he did win one, I think, one or two with Natal, or one with Natal and two with Province. I think if uh, he, yeah. did, he, no, didn't he didn't mention on the show before. Uh, Billy, so who you got, Who have you got then? James Small? Um, and, also, uh, sorry, I before we go, Carl. Sean, you got James Small and uh, Habana, huh? Uh, no, Carl Duplessis. So Carl Duplessis and yeah. James Small. Okay, Billy? Yeah, I, I went with Carl, and then I went with, I mean, I, I couldn't take John Daniels too seriously, so I went with the next highest <laughs> try scorer, which was uh, Brady. You guys haven't mentioned Brayton. 70 tries over the years yeah. from uh, 96 to 2007. 11 years of Curry Cup action. I think he deserves a mention. Yeah, Brady. Simon, do you agree? I went, no, I went, I went Carl Duplessis and uh, Brian Abana. Okay. So the uh, overwhelming vote. We're putting a balls team together based on our, b- our blogs team. Yeah. Carl and Abana get the, uh, get the votes there. And, um, yeah, not too much dispute about that. One or two possibles that, uh, that could come in there as well. 
Right, the centres, I think, is where we're going to have a lot of differences, yeah? So, because uh, I think after, from the teams that I've seen going around, uh, everyone seems to have a different opinion. So, uh, Kanox, who are your two? I will go, okay, 13, I want to Jacques Ferry, and at 12, I put Danny Gerber there. Okay. Anyone not got Danny Gerber there? <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that one aside. So, like, pinned in by everyone. Yeah, yeah Every- Danny is a, a, a better. All right, Danny Gerber in at 13 for everybody. Now, who do you have inside him? Rephrase. <laughs> Peter Whip. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Please rephrase. Yeah. All right. Who is uh, who's your number 12? Let's start with, uh, with Billy this time. I've actually pushed Arnie to 12 and, and, uh, yeah. and okay. kept on Halkhart at 13, just for, for years of service. Oh. Halkhart. 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 Right. Yeah, yeah, 142 genius, games. Billy. I actually can't... Uh, you can't not pick the most capped oh, Grey yeah. Cup player ever in this side. Oh, you're a genius. I'm editing my team right now. That's it. Gus Teron <laughs> is out of here. You had Gus Teron <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I catch Achilles outside. You started to, sound, I you started to sound like uh, Bounce, who was like debating Johnny Traitsman amongst some of the uh, players there. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, Bounce is already putting together next week's worst Curry Cup team of all time. Uh, okay, so... Um, Tank, who have you got at 12? Yeah, I moved, uh, I moved Donnie inside, which for which I took a fair amount of abuse for, because apparently 12 and 13 are as specialists as Titan and Lucid, which I, I disagree with, but yeah. obviously <laughs> the peacocks them and uh, get on my back. But uh, So I moved Donnie to, to 12, and I put the brain box uh, far, far Knitzer in at 13. Far Knitzer? Let's get it some good feet, uh, I must say. Jeez, like, so, okay. He was such a cute car. No consensus here. Uh, Billy? Yeah, no, I've got, I've got Halkhart, huh? Oh, you went Halkhart? Yeah. You went yeah. Fafa Tank? I've got Halkhart Sean, you went Halkhart as well. You I'm, changed I'm, to Halkhart? I'm changing to Halkhart. Did you really have Gasteron? No, I did not have Who did you have? It was very tempting. Very Who tempting. was there originally? It was Matt Peter Muller, 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 oddly enough. Muller. Peter Muller. Okay, good call. Oh, Simon? I, I'd back Halkhart. I can't believe I'm writing <laughs> Halkhart. <laughs> Halkhart, Muller, Halkhart, Muller, and Donny Kadber. Halkhart, Muller, and Donny Kadber. Well, my inside centre to Donny Kadber... One of the most creative inside centers and genii that's ever played the game, I think, in this country. Michael Duplessis. Yeah, yeah. good, good. Can I? Michael Duplessis. I, mm. I, 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 Johnny? He played the uh, EP, was it? Uh, and Transvaal. Uh, Transvaal, that was his yeah, put to yeah. play the EP. Who, was, uh, who would your uh, centers be, Johnny? Uh, my, my centers, I'll be very honest with you, Peter Whip was my absolute hero, and Oersteisen, oh. they, they combined. Uh, <laughs> awesome, awesome uh, center combination. Oersteisen and Peter Whip. Uh, <laughs> uh, who who was Taz? <laughs> Louis was Taz. Everyone's, everyone's got a flag expression <laughs> on their face. Which was Taz, John? Um, Darren, they played in the 1970s. Is that, your, <laughs> is that Jan Oosthuizen? No, he was he was fr- from Gefangenis. Uh, he played uh, for the prisons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what does he give you that's free? <laughs> Wait, did he buy your drugs? <laughs> no. I think he's in the medi- medical no, room. No, 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 but I loved him. I loved that combination. But of Oersteisen w- and... Oersteisen <laughs> and Whip. But he's not <laughs> lying. There was a Oersteisen. Jan yeah, Oersteisen played. Oh, thank you very much. No, his name wasn't Jan Oersteisen. Just because they played in 74, John, was the only sure. three you've ever watched. I mean, Saki Saurman <laughs> might not make a Curry Cup team either, you know? Can I say our intern... Uh, what's his name? VNF. Yes. He also has someone on, on 12. Well, okay, I'll, well, I'll, tell us who it is. Okay, so we're going to move captain, on. Our current captain, Jean de Villiers. Jean de Villiers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, Halkhart Muller's got the nod. Yeah. So <laughs> there's our back line then. Andre Joubert at full back. Carl uh, Duplessis and Brian Aban on the wings. The bench Muller. says Jochi Janssen at 12. Jochi Janssen going back in time. But uh, you guys have all agreed. Halkhart Muller inside, Donny Kadba outside. And nice boot at 10. Uh, now let's uh, f- get our scrum off. Hold, hold on, hold on, Dan. Sorry, right. man, just to be a bit uh, closer. I mean, if, we are, if, if we're going to be forced to pick up at 13, then uh, cheapest, then we have to have DPC inside, surely. Uh, that would make it a tie. Because two for Muller yeah, and two if for if Duplessis. We, but you went Muller and Muller as well, eh? So, no, it's still, it's still, Muller still gets it anyway, Tank. Oh, that's it, Tank. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. three, three plays two, so... <laughs> sorry, we're I not can't get... believe how good Muller's going to be on our side. I mean, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Ahead of Michael Duplessis. I can't believe that either. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Yeah. All right, uh, who's on nine? I think we can probably say most people would say yours. Is it, uh, who differs here? Bullock and Roddy. Uh, Have you got Kate? I've got Farid uh, <laughs> Free de Prea, okay, one free de Prea. <laughs> you haven't got Paula Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tank, who have you got there at nine? I went for Divan Serpentine. Uh, you went for Divan, you were the only one. I think you, Sean, have got Yurst? Yeah, I was close. Yeah. I was close with free de Prea, but I yeah. stuck with Yurst. And, um, and Billy, you've got Yurst as well? Yeah, yeah, Yurst. 
Yours is our number nine. Okay, Johnny, anyone that you'd like to bring? Harry Sonicus, maybe? Harry Sonicus was the guy. He played eight man, of course. Yeah, so but you, wanted, you put him at nine and eight. I put him at nine <laughs> and eight, Darren. Okay. Cool, you can cover both because they're close together, according to John. Oh, can we organize a game against John's team? Yes. I, think we're give some points. I think the Lions are playing them next year while Super Rugby's on. I think John's team is one of their 14 get-together games, just after the Russian game. Um, right, so there's your back line. We'll take a little bit of a breather, and then we'll get to uh, our forward. So tank just hang in there. Go and get yourself another castle. Lovely. Out of a can, uh, please. Out of a can, please. <laughs> and uh, and cool, Billy, do whatever you uh, are yeah, going to pour yourself another martini there in Neisner. Thank uh, you, thank to you. Put a few more prawns on that Melbourne toast, and uh, we'll be back with you guys in about, <laughs> in about uh, four or five minutes. Blogs it is on Balls Visual Radio. Let's get to the forwards now. And uh, thanks a lot for all your tweets. Uh, VNF says uh, the same happened with Derby Snayman. Didn't know about that. Straight into the uh, box side before he played for Province. Hmm, interesting. Right, um, let's get to the forwards. And it's, are we going to start front or back? Let's start at eight. Okay, let's start, let's start at, uh, back's at a good eight. Place to start, <laughs> <laughs> Easy now, Billy. Uh, Simon, who's your eight? <laughs> Busy. B- no, eight. Oh, eight. We're starting there. Sorry, I'm I know he's good, but he's not that good. Jeez. <laughs> um, In fact, my man crush has changed from genre to Busy. But no, you always no, had a crush no, on no, no. Step away. My man crush. Okay, fine. Yeah. So Sean Ray to busy. Busy, yeah. I should have known. Do you want to think about it? Yeah. Sean? Uh, number eight. Man. I, w- I went Mona Duplessis. Okay. Mona Duplessis. John? Mine is definitely, I loved him in his, when he started playing Literally, Bob Skinstead. In the biblical sense. Bob Skinstead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And you, uh, yeah, you mind. still do, John. That's why we spoke to him every day on five for two years. <laughs> 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 All right. You gone Bob? Yeah. Um, Billy? Cheapers. I mean, for me, there was little choice. Uh, Gary Teichman. I think he he yeah. turned the Sharks around into a superb outfit in the in the nineties, and uh, yeah, brilliant captain as well. Knox? Yeah, uh, both VNF and I went for Gary Teichman as well. Teichman gets another one. Dank. Yeah, I like all the names so far. I would, I would throw in Yanni Brett and Kian Strauss as potential uh, candidates, but I went with uh, the great man Mornay Duplessis. Yeah. So he gets a yeah. second vote. Yeah, I had Yanni Brett down for next week's show. Right up there with uh, right, right up there with Yuka van Us, but we'll get to that next week. Mona Dupassi was so good. He yeah. let, let that ridiculous quote about kissing your sister hit the annals of time. Yeah. Like, imagine if Peter de Villiers had said that. <laughs> I think he did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> times. It wasn't his sister, though. I think he was. Okay. <laughs> cousin or something. <laughs> 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 All right. Mona Dupassi looks like he gets it. I had him in my side. No, I'd have to as go well. that. Mona Dupassi, mm. yeah. And uh, obviously, he, um, he stiff on my nice when I was a Transvaal supporter, also. Um, can right. You, can you have them in the same side? Who, Nice and Mornay. <laughs> well, Nice feels safer that way, yeah. Um, let's go to the uh, the back row, the rest of the back row, six and seven. Tank? Okay, at seven, I had um, Andre Pinter. Right. Yep. Okay. And six? I, I went with Ruben Kruger, but I think there were lots of people fighting for that position. Yeah, all right. Kruger and Fenter you went with. Uh, Canox, who have you got? I have. Um, oh, this one was difficult. Today, please. Okay, I went with, uh, uh, with John Smith and uh, Scout Burger. Okay. Sean? I went a little off the off the wall here. I picked two flankers that I thought, uh, well, not that off the wall. I went with Val Bartman and Francois Pinot. I'm not sure how well they would end up playing together, <laughs> but I just saw the two Oaks mm. define the era in different ways yeah. for... For um, Transvaal and um, and Natal in those days. <coughs> Did you have any Brits? Well, no, you didn't. You had more. No, okay, just checking. <laughs> All right, Simon. <laughs> I had Val Bartman as well. Jeez, Val might get inside you. And Scott Berger. Val Bartman and Scott Berger. Billy. I went with. I agree with Tank there on Ruben Kruger yeah. at six, and then I went for a man who played in uh, the equal number of record finals with Nas. Uh, Berger Geldenhuis at seven. Yeah. Geldenhuis. Yeah, wow, we've got a bit of a. Yeah. We've got a bit of a dispute here. It looks like uh, Ruben Kruger gets the nod at six. But we haven't got anyone that's agreed with, uh, with seven. My, my, uh, mine were... Um, no one's mentioned the name of Rob Lowe. Oh, Rob Lowe. No one's mentioned the name of Rob Lowe. Wait, 
Um, uh, I don't maybe, a candidate, candidate, maybe a candidate at six, but um, yeah, so and yeah, and someone did. And NF's choice. Yeah, but I'm talking about our bloggers. Uh, no one mentioned Rob Lowe, and the other uh, great player as well was Jan Ellis. Mm. So who are we going to put down at? Uh, who are we going to add with Ruben Kruger? It's, it can't be Pinar, please, man. He, he <laughs> no, I've crossed him out already. He's also in my team next week. I mean, I think uh, Skulkberger, Schatzmal, Tienstorfberg, but Skulkberger's already got a couple of votes. He, he was certainly a contender for me. Yeah, I think there were two uh, Skulks. All right, two Skulkberger, two Skulks. So Skulkberger goes in there with Ruben Kruger. Right, the second row. It started with Billy. Oh. Yeah, easy. As a, as, a, as a former lock forward, I found this hell of a easy. Um, there were only two candidates, and they both made it. Yeah. And that's Mark Andrews and Rudy Fasaki. Flace and Mark, the Natal combination. Kane Ox, have you got? Uh, I won't do the Victor. <laughs> and? No one else. <laughs> okay, just going with one. Oh, oh wait. Is that I'm, good? I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I won't do Victor Mashvold and, uh, and Bucky's. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I went with Victor Matfield, yeah, Good and um, which which is harsh on a couple of guys, but I went with him, and I never even saw him play, but I had to go with Frick Dupree. Yeah, I was the wondering one if someone was going to say yeah. Frick. Yeah. Is that yours as well, Simon? I had Frick and Mark Andrews. Frick and Mark Andrews, okay. But uh, you guys are selecting on here, so yeah. No, 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 they've got their names. He was the rugby down, player of the century. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, he was on that panel, eh? And it's amazing, <laughs> but it's amazing how many out of the, all those other people that gave their teams didn't have Frick in there. Uh, I think there was only one other Frick de Prier that I saw there. Tank, who have you got? I went with uh, Matfield and Louis Moorman. Louis Moorman, there's cool. another one. I saw Mona Fun. Uh, I, I saw Mona Fun here and uh, floating around the place as well in one of those. Uh, I went with Matfield and Porter purely because as a combination they were just uh, yeah. devastating. So, uh, yeah, Victor Matfield definitely there. Who's his partner then? For our blogs team. Seriously, <laughs> fucking, yeah. Listen, I mean, I, I think the one act you can't leave out is Flash for Zaki. I mean, but you're the only one who mentioned him. Yeah, best nickname in rugby. <laughs> and the 141 caps. Only one behind Alder Holcott. Yeah, well. The same one of KGs that he weighed at the end of his career. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's also, wasn't he tired with Rich Cubby from the river for heavier Springbok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. He's he's good good. There's another blogs for the. F- go Frick, man. Hey, you want to put Frick in there just for a bit of... Uh, should we? Everyone agree with Frick? Yeah, we yeah, 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 yeah. can't leave him out. All right, highest ranked player of all time for South Africa, although they did another vote. I don't know if he'd still be there as a, as a number one. But anyway, we've got Frick in there. I think if, Bulls, uh, I think if Bloggs was around in those time, he'd have a real Gary Player quality about it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, all right, so uh, Frick Dupree and Victor Matfield are in there as well. Uh, just another subject for a future ball, uh, blogs, by the way. The uh, the best nickname in, in rugby. Um, oh, be a cracker. Yeah, because uh, my guy Lichtoring, who would also go into next week's show, <laughs> is definitely up there. And Millie van <laughs> All right, so we've uh, got the second row. Now the front rows. I think Tank and I, Tank is going to love me for my, my selection of front row, but my hooker is definitely not going to be anybody else's hooker. So we'll start at number two. Who's your hooker, Canox? I have uh, Uli. Uli Schmidt? Yep. Sean? Yep, me too. Dr. Uli. Simon? I'm busy. Busy? Yeah. Same. Come here, let me oh, kiss shoot. you. <laughs> Johnny? Yeah, I had uh, also my hero, of course, um, was uh, Uli. Uli, okay. Tank? Yeah, I went Uli as well. And Billy? Yeah, Uli. 103 caps, 8 finals. He's my man. <laughs> All right. Although I'm still pissed off he took out Tony Watson. No. <laughs> That's what made me like Willie. Uh, <laughs> Billy. Billy, you and these numbers is getting worse than Tank with the viewership numbers. Well. <laughs> oh, uh, oh I didn't have Willie and Schmidt in my side, but only because when I was growing up, my rugby hero was a guy you, you might not have even heard of. He played for the Springboks as well, around about that uh, early 80s time. Mm-hmm. Willie Cox. Willie Cox. Oh, Cox. yes, absolutely. Great hooker. Blue great, Bulls, great huh? hooker. Yeah, Blue Bulls hooker and played uh, quite a few games for the Springboks. But Uli Schmidt is, uh, is the guy. That was the time. In fact, because the Evert Milan was also around then. The Bulls were like uh, the Sharks front row today, or the Sharks hookers today, where they've had uh, John Smith and Bismarck and Craig Bird and, and Kyle Cooper might be coming through as well. Those days they had uh, Willie Karchers there, Uli around, Evert Milan. So they also had the same problem back in that day. Uh, and finally, the props. Let's start with Tank. Okay. Um, 
for me, there, there, there can be no debate at one. I went with Osterand, perhaps the greatest rugby player ever to come out of this country. <laughs> then I went... Uh, <laughs> and the world, I like it. Uh, slightly more controversial. On, on, uh, at number three, I went with a block of granite that was Jan Locke, who the poor man overdosed on the, on the Helikis, which was the, 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 the performance hard. The yeah. performance in the hard in his day, but yes, he was, he was a good. Object, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Wasn't he the guy also <coughs> that at one uh, one or other game he ran out and tripped before he got onto the field and they had, they had to replace him? I think <laughs> no, it, was, it wasn't him. Wasn't there, it there's him. so many stories about so many people. It happened to you, but I think it's cool. Okay. I don't know. All right. He's uh, probably tank, but he's trying to cover it up. Yeah? <laughs> 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 All right. He keeps, he keeps telling a different story about it every week. Yeah. All right. If we have a tight tank, because he's obviously Mr. Front Row, we'll, uh, we'll get the deciding vote. But uh, I don't think there are like any it. other young locks there. There might be quite a few horses. Who have you got? I've got Oz. And? And uh, the doc, Yanni Duplessis. Yanni Duplessis. Yeah. Darren. Johnny? I've got BJ Boerter and Robbie Kempson. Get some ointment, it'll sort it out. (laughs) (laughs) Robbie Kempson, because he's your mate. Yeah, but I thought he was awesome. Okay, cool. He likes you too. (laughs) Simon? (laughs) I went with Oss, and uh, I thought about Yanni, but then I decided to go for, and I see that you've got him as well, uh, the Hempy's the Toy. Hempy's the Toy. Yeah, because uh, I, uh, I went to school with his kids. And Hempy taught me a secret handshake when I was six years old. Did it involve using your hands? It involved coming to his house. (laughs) 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 No, I'm kidding. He was. uh, Give you wine. He was always hanging around our school for some reason. (laughs) Interesting. (laughs) No, no, I've known Hempy since I was a lighty. This doesn't sound good. That sounds like it. Okay. (laughs) Uh, Have you got (laughs) stop tarnishing my face? All right. Um, I I I went with Hempy's to toy. I've got um. Um, I, I got brought up by a family uh, like a Betamax collection of rugby videos that made well. me watch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I and just they, painted him as a pedophile. He's not a pedophile. He's a lovely man and I'm good friends with his kids. <laughs> lovely family. Oh, you're a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a very, very good winemaker. Well, He's a go. brilliant winemaker. Yeah. They make seriously Fantastic. good wine. Hmm. So you just picked one prop. Or the other one? No, oh, so, oh okay. sorry. I couldn't, right, I couldn't think. I was, I was blurred there for a second. Uh, Tommy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've gone with Oz and Yanni. I mean, Yanni is... Yay! Oh, hopefully on Saturday night, Yanni will have six out of seven final wins. Yeah, Yanni is uh, very tempting there as well. So uh, it looks like it's a toss-up between Yanni and uh, Hempy's to Toy. Give it to Yanni. And um, I get the deciding vote on this one. Oh. I thought you said I did. No, 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 but hold on. Uh, I'm still going to give my... Only yeah, if it's a tie. Yeah. I haven't given my team yet. Okay. And my front row... I went for, uh, and it, it pains me to do this, but I just thought they were brilliant as a as a, uh, a unit with, obviously, who was Robert Cockrell in the middle of them, eh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I went with uh, Henning van Aswegen and Hempy Stutoy. Hey! So, so... Did you have Povey in between them or not? No, no, no Robert Cockrell. No, no, I've got, I've got uh, my hooker was Willie Cutts. Uh, of course, sorry. Yeah, yeah. so uh, Hempy Stutoy gets, uh, gets the nod. Would you put Tank no, Lanning I in your Dream 15? <laughs> next week. Next week, sir. <laughs> <laughs> How many minutes did you play for Province Tank? How many minutes did you play? You could actually crack the knot there. Yeah, exactly. Nine games times 18 minutes. Uh, yeah. Awesome. It could easily be worth it. So you're going to blazer for that, eh? Blazer and a cap and a nice, tie. Nice. Fantastic. Tank, I, I thought you had more, um, more caps than minutes. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Is it too bad? He's losing his sense of humor there. Watch out. Yeah, we want him back next week, please. Okay, next week, worst Curry Cup teams of all time. Think of some names. I've uh, got a few in my head already. You go from us. Um, <laughs> and uh, who's that chop that, uh, who's the Carl pick for the Springboks against the Lions? Russell Bennett? No, he played 10 or... Edrich Lebo. Thank you very much. I must make a note for oh. next week as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. But listen, when you do pick your sides, make no one from the Falco or the Pumas. It's uh, teams that like the, the top Curry, Curry Cup teams, okay? Um, you can include Greg because I've got that guy Vessels in my side as well. Uh, <laughs> Uta Vessels. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, just from the, the, the top Curry Cup teams, the worst Curry Cup 15 of all time. All right. Are you guys in? Sure. Yeah. But no one's listening. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you might get your wish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'll be next this week. Radio, <laughs> next week's blogs will be wrap up on the Curry Cup. Thanks a lot, guys. Let's run through the team then. This is the blogs team, uh, the best Curry Cup team of all time. Fullback Andre Joubert of the Sharks. Uh, the Wings, Carl Duplessis and Brian Abana of, uh, of Province. Centres, 
Helgaard Muller, Free State, Donny Cadbury of Eastern Province. Uh, halfbacks, the Bulls combination. We've actually done well on combinations here. I think some of our coaches will be very proud of us. Yeah. Uh, Nars and Joost. And then our back row, Skalk Berger, Ruben Kruger, and Mornay Duplessis. Uh, the second row, Frick Dupree and Victor Matfield. Uh, both Bulls, so a good combination there as well. And then uh, your front row, Osturant, Uli Schmidt, and Hempis Toy. One cheetah, one bull, and one province boy. That blows that theory out the water. There we go. Nice team, guys. Who's your captain, finally? Frick. Uh-uh. <laughs> no way. Got to be Mornay. Got to be Mornay as your Nos. skipper. No. Nos. <laughs> can you, can Nos. You, if you made Nas captain in a team with Mornay, Mornay would blixen him again, even in the same side. Oh, well, yes. He had a pretty good captaincy record. Yeah, we got how many guys captained, actually? Uh, we, Helcott, Helcott captain the Cheetahs. One. Nas captain, US captain, Mornay captain, uh, Ruben captain. Skulk's captain, and probably will be our next bar captain when he ever gets back. Victor captain, Frick captain, cheese slug. Um, I don't know if any of our front rows, front rows actually captain. No, 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 no. So there's quite a few captains in that side, which is what Jake liked, a side with lots of leaders. And he's catching it, eh, Björman? Van Sale. Björman, Van Sale. <laughs> Ketch. <laughs> Ketch. Come on, Got Björman had nine carry cap wins and two draws. Yeah, well, Ketch had a, had a few as well. And might have had more. Darby Sneeman. Okay, that's a good time to end, blogs. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tank. Yeah, well, uh, awesome. Thanks for your hard work this week. We'll chat to you again next week. Okay, cheers, buddy. Yeah, man, go well. Bye bye. There you go. That is Tank joining us. And thanks a lot, Billy. Cheers, guys. Good fun, man. Yeah, it was. We'll chat to you next week. Cheers, buddy. And uh, thank you very much, Sean. Well, yeah, thanks for sure. in. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you again next week for another blogs on Balls Visual Radio. You want to go?